Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. We've got another dev submission. Um, this game is uh, kind of a surprise. I don't know anything about this. This just kind of came out of the blue. Got messaged. The person said they watched the show. And they're like, ah, will you tell me if my game is trash? I'm like, okay, sure. And, you know, I thought it looked kind of cool because there's like, you know, like action buttons to do things. To, like actually swing a pan and move around and stuff. Uh, How recently did they message you? Uh, within a month. Oh, okay. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty recent. Um, I watched this... Oops, it's not big enough. I watched this trailer, but it's pretty loud, it sounds like. I'm um, not really sure where the action combat comes in, because it seems like there's regular RPG combat, which I don't understand. Well, that's actually has some effort into it. Yeah, I was like, hey, effort, sure, I'll play the game. Bum, bum, bum. The soundtrack and everything. Wow, yeah, this is actually, I mean, it's it's not impressive by like regular standards, but it's impressive by RPG Major standards. Yeah. Yeah, and this is just like turn-based combat, so I don't know where the action combat comes from. Huh. Boop, 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 boop. So I was joking, but or I, I said I shouldn't, but but he said VXAs. I don't personally know as much. You, you always ask you to explain these things to me, but apparently VXAs is really old. Yes. And why do people still make their game in it? The new version is probably not expensive. And then if the answer is, well, I've been working on this game for 15 years, <laughs> I say, wow, that's not a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> this game shouldn't have taken 15 years, but yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Yeah, and at this point, MV is also really old, so you should be able to get it for like 10 bucks when it's on sale or something. Um, oh, okay. So I don't know why you'd ever want to use VXAce. Um, I can only assume there must be certain plugins they wanted to use. I don't know. It's just... Like, it sucks to stream these games. It doesn't full screen properly. Um, and it just doesn't play nice with Windows. It's really, it's just really aggravating to play a game that runs in VXAce. Um, yeah. And the max resolution is like 1024 by 768, which is, I always joke, is a resolution I remember being pretty good in 1995. Yeah. <laughs> um, with a Windows 95. Yeah. Like, that was my monitor's max resolution at that point, probably, if I remember correctly. Well, Which is 30 years ago, if you're keeping track here. <laughs> this person is probably thinking, well, I guess, you know, you mentioned that they already assume we're going to rip the game apart. But, well, okay, you said they submitted it, you said, you don't remember exactly when they submitted it, but... I guess, yeah, they, they probably know we don't like VXAs if they were watching our stuff, as they mentioned. Yeah. So, but whatever, again. I mean, well, I think, who knows? Who knows? I think they came off of watching the last episode, which was, you know, the random games on Steam. And, you know, I'm pretty sure we got some VX game, Ace games, and I complained about that. Oh, so okay. just knowing the scoring, it's probably going to affect your score because it's just because it's VX Ace and for no actual, like, effort reason. Like, you chose the wrong engine. Wrong! How dare you? <laughs> Is that? I wonder if our yeah our random game massacres, I, you know they have a chance of pulling. I don't know if people if it shows up algorithm or if they search the the game title and it somehow gets found and the hashtags. I have no idea, but maybe maybe it will pull in more random people. Yeah, I'm not sure. This seem seems like it does. I got like four or six subscribers off the last video or something. So I was like, oh, cool. These Impressive. are new people, I guess. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I guess yeah, we should let's get, get started. Let's get, let's get moving along with this thing. So, yeah. Interesting music. It sounds like it's only about two bars worth of music, though. Uh, <laughs> which the loop was a little bit longer. Um, oh, I'm in the wrong window. Here we go. I see it. Yeah, I switch over. All right. We got no <laughs> WASD, as is the case the always. The tradition. As yeah. is tradition, no WASD, no full screen. Well, it's full screen for the uh, the recording and for you, because that's how I'll edit it, but uh, I have to look at a tiny screen, because the x -Ace is a pain and doesn't yeah. play nice. Um, Excellent. So, yeah. 
All right, let's just see how this goes. Oh yes, swing the pan, move options, open menu. I do like this is kind of cute. It's a little funny. It looks like Mario Two. Yeah. Place where you go when you know you're asleep. You're not quite lucid yet, so grab the pan and start to get started. You gonna hit yourself in the head. Whoa, whoa, whoa the 3D gray fix. It's a pot pan. Okay. It's it's not even it's a it's it's pot pan. Yeah. It is pot pan. I was kind of laughing at the mild applause that you got. Yeah. <laughs> grabbing it. Like, yeah. As long as you have this, you can control yourself in the dream. Do not lose it. Oh, it's like uh. A totem? Yeah, a totem from Inception. Yeah. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. Yes. Murder. Uh, I'm a little impressed with this so far. It actually is a good use of 3D graphics. Yeah, this is a good use of the 3D mod. I really like this, instead of the stupid dungeon crawl crap that we usually yeah. have. Uh, oh, okay. Well, it's too late for that. I already adjusted the volume in the Windows oh, okay. Mixer because... Uh, the game started extremely loud. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. This moves bonk, me bonk. forward a little bit. The animation looks, I'm sure, is a. Reminds me of Mario's Super Mario RPG. I was like, why is this reminding me of timed hits the game? And it's because that swing is very similar to Mario's hammer swing. So. Oh, this is interesting. I can actually control how high the jump is to some degree. I was going to say, you can do a short hop. What is this, King of Fighters? <laughs> we got short hops, we got super jumps. Oh, read me. Controls again? No. No thanks. I got it. Uh, I guess this is like a level select or something. I guess I should talk to this cactus yeah. though. Howdy do, dreamer! Welcome to the ne Demo Nexus. Beyond these doors, you'll get to see some of the dream and test out gameplay. The right is, the door to your right is unlocked, but you'll need to find the keys for the other two. Oh, okay. We're Japanese, I guess, starting with the right instead of the left. Good luck and have fun! More read me's. Sometimes nightmares find their way into the dream. If they catch you, get ready to fight! Random encounter excuse. Yes. In battle, use X to guard or Z to dodge attacks. It seems a little loud. Little loud. Makes me concerned. Uh, yes. Would you like to see the battle controls? No! Stop trying to show me the controls. Give me people to fight. The test. Don't climb trees to retrieve lost items. It's more fun to knock them out. Oh, okay. Oh, I just realized, uh... I found a glass of water. You can swing up. Oh. <laughs> With a different, different animation spread. Slightly different. How fancy. Bong, bong, bong. Yes, hit everything. I'm gonna play this like it's just cause. Smash everything. Oh, just cause. That game. <laughs> well, no, just cause three. I just have a funny random side story where I got soft locked out of the game and tried to restart, and it actually wiped my file. And I was like, "Why would you introduce this as an option?" Wow. It's, it was so dumb. I can explain more, but I don't want to sidetrack too much. It's really dumb, though. Okay. Bad design. Anyway, let's get to this. So, golf club. Focus. Uh, I guess I attack. I don't have skills. Oh, wait, I do. It's Z just before. Oh, it is time hits the game. Oh, wow. This has to be a Mario Mario reference. The, the pot pan swing is, looks just like Mario's hammer swing. So, I'm sure this is a reference to Mario. Wait, minus one? Oh, right. So, I guess I did that wrong? Question mark? I still have to press choose attack every time just before striking the enemy yeah. oh there's I guess a I did it right the first time maybe. Only did one there's, a, there's a thing you can see the uh there's a picture on the left too when you're doing it that shows you the time oh okay when it like becomes sharper yeah oh am i supposed back. to press something when he attacks me yeah you can block too this has to be this is very mario RPG. He blocked it. Yeah, so the wind up, like the wind up is to give you time to react to yourself. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to press though. I don't uh, know. Smash buttons. 
smash whatever the attack, the confirm button. It's usually confirm, but... What if I focus? What does this do? Rapidly tap. Okay. I don't know what that did. I think you're blocking. I can't tell. Because you're, you're doing like the bend in the knees. That's the same as Mario RPG. Your character bends the knees when they block. Blocked. God blocked. damn it. What is the press when he attacks me? I'm going to die. What guard is this? I still took one oh, damage. One. So... I'm going to die. <laughs> no, just keep swinging. Go for it. Oh, I got it right for the first time, I think. I don't know what else to do when he comes at me. Are you sure? You might, you might be blocking, I can't tell. That might be the block, a successful block. So this is, this one feels like it's more predictive. Like I have to predict when it's gonna light up. Oh. Well, you can see, like, when she raises her pot, that means she's about to swing. Oh. Damn. Well, gonna die. Because this guy has infinite health, apparently. Yeah, goodbye. Death. <laughs> Death! Death. She died. Jame over. So wait, I was supposed to win that fight? Yeah. All right. Okay, that was a very long fight. And there was no save. My, cool. I'm wondering if... I mean, I doubt the time hits a huge difference. I, I think you were time hitting right. I don't, I don't know if you There was a sound it. that happened when I got it right. Oh, my pot. Right. Okay. I still did one damage though, right? Yeah. And it just it was unblockable, I guess. Go fight that guy again. <sighs> I can't tell if you're blocking right or not. I don't know. Oh, oops. I can't save, so I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know how to block. I guess I should read this thing again. What did it say about it was, blocking? Okay, so it wasn't the confirm button, I assume. Because whatever the button is. Yeah, there we go. Okay. X to guard, or Z to dodge attacks. Oh. Uh, garden is easier, but dodging avoids all damage. Okay. I guess yes? Okay. And there's damage to any attacks. Well, the block didn't seem easier to me, like... Alright, let's try the sl slipper kit, I guess. Kick, I guess. Just in case this is somehow... Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know what she was going to jump. Haha! -ha! See, that one had feedback, so I understood what was happening. Yep. Oh, that did Hurry. way more damage. Maybe that's always the slipper oh, oops. kick. Yeah. What? Damn. Death? What do you mean, death? Well, seven damage. Kill them. Alright, slipper kick is the better move, apparently, for these guys. Yeah, okay. Sure. LCD though, maybe that uses resources. I wasn't looking. Yeah. What? What did it say about LCD? I don't remember. It like do more damage if I have more LCD or something. Uh, these backgrounds though, ugh. It's like weird AI abstract. Man. Oh, I missed. Ugh. One? Oh no, why? It, I got the sound. So I thought that mean. Maybe, that maybe try pot. Try pot on this guy. Maybe he's different. He's somehow he different? Is. Okay. Who knows? I, who knows, but try it. Oh. Well, yeah, it's the one. Well, I, right. well, just, I guess. Oh, Damn okay. it. Okay, ching! We well, got one. Cool. I don't know. Oh, you know what it is? I think it's the LCD thing I was just talking about. Uh, oh, oh, it's like it's like stamina. You have to. Yeah, you don't do you don't do jack for damage unless you're you have LCD. Oh damn it! Well, it takes my LCD when I get hit too. Oh. Just four damage. Instant kill. So wait, it seems like I don't know. There's something weird about their health. Like maybe they're regenerating or something. Because four damage shouldn't have killed him. Can I, like, save? No, you, you had already hit him twice before that. I think they have about six health. Oh, okay. The first guy you... you oh, don't oh, actual oh, platform. I'll say, please don't do more. 
Yeah, <laughs> thank God for that. One. Oh, is it damaging me though? Oh fuck, it's damaging me. Oh, it is. I one hit point. Okay, there we go. Oh god. I say jump, jump further. I think you're jumping too short. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just go for it. Better over than under. Oh, glass of water, right? I should probably use items. Heals. Ten HP. Yes. What's sleeping bag? That's a good question. Does that does that heal you? No. Okay. Remember, jump oh, further. Than... Yeah. Okay. There we go. Easy. Oh, yo, yo. How, you, how do you heal? That's outside of using water. Probably have to use water. That's a, that's a finite resource right there. Yeah, we got a game of attrition here. Oh, hey, I saw you as a teammate in yeah. things. Dude, Billiam, that's one of my favorite joke English names. <laughs> Bil Billiam. Joined your slumber party. Oh, oh he jumps too! Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so this game is relatively charming. And has an okay amount of effort put in. And by by RPG Maker standards, a very high amount of effort put in. Can I, like, look at bum, him? What does he have? Bum, bum, bum. He has power and he has 10 he has, Yeah, he has 4 attacks, so he's pretty good, it seems like. Idiom. So hopefully I can use him to fight people. Ho hopefully I can, like, save at some point, too? Or is it auto-save? Yeah. Am I done with the zone? Am I supposed to leave? I can go back to the... Because this was like the only place to go. Platforming! I, I, I see something over there, though. I see, like, this little lip over there. Yeah, there's, like, a there's a thing that... Maybe you can... You, you try just pushing every single book is? Yeah, I'm trying to... Maybe one of them is... Oh, there, there we is. go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Transparent when I'm on the other side. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. This is effort I am not used to. From an you RPG found the first game. key. Oh, I thought you could, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Trying to get it stuck so I can slide around. <laughs> punk, punk. I guess the oh, devil yes. let us. Oh my, there Yes! It is. Just Got keep it. hopping. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Yeah, it really looks like. And, oh, and also in Mario RPG, there's Princess Peach gets a fire, uh, gets a pan as a weapon, so. Do you know how to fight? Do you know how to fight? I think say uh, no to see people say no. Oh, yeah, the same one. Oh yeah, you focus the charger up with the pan button. It's weaker when she's low on LCD. What the fuck does LCD mean? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to wonder. Oh what no, doing. this is not good. Um. Well, it'd be nice has, if we could save. She has some. I I don't know if this is actually doing more damage or if I am just like crazy here. Hit shift okay. right before striking the enemy? Uh, there has to be left shift? I don't... Uh oh I don't know if I... Oh, I missed it. Oh, that one's fast. Oh, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let that one slide. Damn it. I'm not criticized for that one. <laughs> that one was a bit fast. I was trying to watch it, too, and I was like, I might have missed it. I probably I think it. I could mash to get through that, but I'm not sure. I kind of mashed to get through one of those. Okay. Oh, actually, I don't know what button I mean, you're supposed to press. That's the other thing. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to press Z? I don't know. For what? The lamps is out? Oops, yeah. It said shift, didn't it? Like, oh, shift, right! Yeah. That's not good. Uh, boy, it would be nice if I uh, could have saved at some point. Maybe it checkpointed you. Let's believe. Yeah, believe in... The heart of the cards. Yeah, there death. Death! Yeah, you kill these things, they die fast. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. There we go. Uh... Yes! No, it didn't kill him. It's okay. It's probably 6 HP. I think it has 6 HP, so just hit this. I don't know. 
Like, this is so weird to me. Once it stops, just get ready to press. Like, wait oh, for the land fuck. to stop moving and then get ready to hit ship. Uh, it's definitely predictable and uh, once he stops moving, he can, he can... Unfortunately, you don't get much of a visual aid, but that's, that's the best you're gonna get. But, it should be doable. God, Jesus Christ. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, he attacked the other one and somehow gave it to me. Alright, cool. My God, this is... There we go. The super kick. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm curious. I think just, yeah. You can, he has a little thing on the left, too. You can see his... Yeah, I'm like not even sure if shift is even registering, I feel like. May not be. Like, maybe I need these right shift, but I don't want to risk it's that. it's possible. Well, I mean, you're not hitting it already, so might as well. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that is the reason. Oh my god, right shift works. Hey. What now, it's it is... possible you, it's possible that you also, it left shift does work here with the timing. Maybe yeah, right, it, shift. The right shift feels a lot easier to hit for me. Oh, okay. Because uh, I'm using the arrow keys anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, because the fucking... Yeah, yeah, it's right shift. Fighting spooky does. That's the call namers around here. Uh-huh. Am I? I'm <laughs> on death's door here. I'll say no work, no glasses of water. Hmm, I see. Yeah, didn't I get another glass of water last time? Oh, is it because I hit a tree? All right, let's hit a tree. I don't think I did that. Okay. No, stop. Okay. There's like no sound when I do that. What's with the golf balls? I know. What's going on? Thing. What's going on? Over I want to hit them because they're like. I bet you thought you were going to have to fight me, huh? Yes. Wow. It... Oh. Not wrong. Not okay, wrong. nothing happens. Actually... It's actually not baiting. All right. So, am I done with that section, or...? All right, well, let's try this key, I guess. Uh, blocked, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, right, right to left, right. I see. Japanese game. Uh, read me instead of talking to her. Uh, oh, are you gonna be a different? Yeah. Partner? Okay. This dude. This has to be a reference to Paper Mario. Because Paper Mario. Yeah. Thinking back, I was saying Mario Sport. Now, the, now what I'm thinking back is actually Paper Mario. Because hmm. Paper Mario, you get the camera angle that this character has, and you only get one partner in Paper Mario. Oh. And you, and you you can switch them out in and out though. You only, but you only use one at a time. So, so I only get one at a time. Yeah. This is 100% referencing Paper Mario. <laughs> Paper Mario. Well, they didn't request you play the game. But maybe they should have, since you know more about Paper Mario. <laughs> I, mean, I, I only know Super Mario RPG. I am unimpressed yeah. with the lamp, oh, yeah. so I'm going to do this guy. I'll try this doll, this porcelain doll thing. Yeah, apparently. What is this picture? Throw cat at something? Cat at lamp? Is that a lamp? Uh, do you want to fight me, sir? Swing on him, swing on him. Punk, punk, punk. I'm hearing an impact sound. Um, okay. Huh. Is this the end of the demo? Did we, did we soft lock somehow? Was I not supposed to switch to her right away? Yeah, I was say maybe just switch back to the lamb and see what. See if it's like, oh, you should use the person. Not this person. It's like, okay, well. I already did that, but okay. Uh, hmm. 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 I mean, this is a, a one of those guys, so I assume I'm supposed to fight him. Yeah, I'm. I'd be shocked if you weren't gonna fight him. I'm sure you're supposed to. Uh, but. Uh. Don't. But don't. Maybe I need to get this. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. 
smashing buttons. Uh, oh, what the heck? I don't know how I'm doing that. <laughs> All I can think of is, oh, okay, you know what it is? What I'm guessing it is, is she must have a partner action. Oh. Like, she must... I don't know there's a button partner action that you can do. Yeah, maybe. That lets maybe you can switch to her. Is there a button to switch to her as if she goes on point? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Put her on point. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then her hand swing is presenting a cat, is my guess. Hmm. I don't think I can switch her out. She's got this whole star thing here. Uh, maybe I but I'm sure like... that's what it is. There, so there's some way you can make her present a cat. Yeah. I'm sure of it. I think mean, that's the only way, but... Is there some other button I'm not they remembering? D opens the menu, right? Is yeah. that what happened? Uh... I'm like pressing every button on the keyboard here. Oh, oh I guess I should be standing next to this guy, probably. See, there's a way to see us. There was that key oh you know what I'm gonna go to the store page again really quick. <laughs> see if there's there's a picture of the keyboard buttons. Oh yeah. Let's see if it's in there. Uh you can just look you don't have to bring it up, just look you Options. Just it. Yeah, it's already open and oh partner ability, shift right. There we this... go. See? Uh what? Oh, there's the cat. I yeah. see it now. Ah, there we go. Don't give up. I time. see. I got this. And I press left shift that time, so I guess both of them do work. Uh there's a Pokeball here. Oh, there's not. Okay. Oh, she can put a cat here? Oh, wow. Yeah, it, 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 go, it drops under her, so yeah, you have to... Oh, it, it, it is on it, okay. Yeah, yeah close enough anyway. Yeah, yeah. Found another key. Goodbye, jabroni. Got it. All right. Jambronies. So, if there's only one more door, it's, uh... Hello. I hate snow. Cool. You're like, what's his face from Frozen? Uh, so I'll switch to the I'll, new partner immediately, I guess. I'm gonna say, exactly. It's, it's, he's probably gonna be used in this area. <laughs> it's all snowy. Bing bong, bing bong. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, okay, yes. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Freeze everything, yeah. And you don't have to deal with random. Yeah. Partner yeah. ability. This is, yeah, this is. I'm pretty sure this is very Paper Mario. I think partner, you have partner abilities with Paper Mario. You found the last key. Can I fight this guy? Even though he's frozen? Uh, I froze him forever, it seems like. Uh, uh, maybe a lead screen comes Oh, back. you know what? Let's... You can't, you can't even get to him, though. Without freezing the ice. Yeah. Damn. There might be some way to do it, but yeah. I need to hide too. Oh, let's, uh, how about this? Switch out, yeah. Because he has it fire, be. right? Yeah, that's what I guess is too. Uh, thanks. It's a lamp. He's gonna, he can melt it. Yeah. He's gonna. He's telling me what I need to do, I guess, or making fun of me for not having the right partner. Is that his partner ability? Is he just tells you? It's, yeah, he just I was hoping he would it. try to set this guy on fire to melt him out. Not a bad assumption. I would have tried it too. Yeah. So I guess. Uh, what, we beat the demo? Is that it? I was not warned this would only take 30 minutes, I don't think. I thought I remember... Is this on me for not remembering that it was supposed to be this short? <laughs> I'm like, reading through the store page here. Uh, the game is still level. There's plenty to do in the demo? It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Most of my uh... gameplay time was uh, me fucking up and getting... My ass kicked. What'd you get? You got a key, right? Yeah, I got a key, but what would I, what would I use that key on? Go talk to the cactus. Why not? Let's just, we got a few. Let's just try. Let, let's look around for a few minutes here. Huh? Oh, it. there we go. Uh, you got no, You made it. There's nothing left to do here, but I've still got one more thing I want you to see. It's called Crescent Town, and it's where adventure begins. Oh, see, look at that, dude. You're giving up too fast. <laughs> oh, Billiam. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's another lamp. Oh yeah, he's not him. Can you go, can you go in that house with him? Kick his ass! Kick his ass! Yeah. Kick his ass. 
Yeah, no. There's a game, what was it called? I think it was called Rad Radiata Stories, where there's like a kick button. You could like kick every single NPC in the game and like get in a fight with them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. I had a similar in uh, Breath of Fire. You, you had party actions on the world map, and one, one person's party action was, I think, a kick to the shins. You go around <laughs> kicking people. It didn't do anything. They just gave you like an exasperated look most of the time. But it was supposed to, you're supposed to kick trees to get shit out of them. Similar to this game, I guess, but. Now accepting new residents. Is that, ooh, is that going to be your get apartment? Hello. Melody? Harmony? What are you doing here? Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. That was definitely not a lot to do. That damn. was like three enemies. Yeah, that was pretty funny. You, I was like, damn, Tony, Tony's right. I gave up too quickly. <laughs> but then there's like <laughs> fucking five minutes of just, not even five minutes, me just walking to the next NPC. But we did get to the end of the demo. <laughs> wow, we did it's it. technically worth it. My second shortest game next to... Uh, what are that garbage game was called where there was you just clicked on things and then eventually it was like you got all the endings Oh uh, home God. alone or whatever it was called oh Phil alone Phil alone yeah yeah that's right what? Uh, but yeah I didn't realize the game would be 30 minutes of gameplay or probably less if you're not bad at this shit like me uh, maybe I should Sorry. review the uh, uh, conversation I had. Did he warn me that this game was short? Am I stupid? Yeah, do, do a quick skim of it. We got time. You always edit this out if it's if it takes a while. But... Uh, oh, he says there's a Kickstarter that I could... Oh, let's go check it out. And I mean, we're not going to throw money at it. Let's go check it out. <laughs> let's go check it out. He didn't give me a link to it, but uh, it's probably on the store page. It's funny because uh, the game is called Dream Game. Is that the actual name of the game? Playthrough. No, it is. I don't. Oh. He did not warn me that this was a short game. All right, so let's. Oh, what Damn the it. fuck? Okay, I found a bug just now. What happened? Oh, there it goes. Like I was looking at this. I went to shutdown, but didn't close the game for some reason. <laughs> oh my god. All right, whatever. 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 Whatever game. Uh, all right, let's share this. That's the wrong window. So the strat here was to have us review it. So I just Googled Dream Game Kickstarter and actually found yeah, the page. It's right <laughs> but here, if you yeah. go to Oh, it is there. Okay. So Whoa, ten thousand dollars. Maybe their attempt was to get us to review this game and release our review within the because only four days left. We're not gonna have it out by then. <laughs> not like we were gonna be the reason they're gonna fill the eight thousand dollar gap. Yeah. We, uh, we're recording in time, but uh, we I usually release on the next Thursday, so yes. that'll be like, uh, what will it be? Like Actually, the day, the day, the day of, ends. yeah. Whoops, whoopsies. Oh wait, let me double check this to make sure. Okay, I'm looking at the screen. Well, uh, so I mean, I two thousand dollars is pretty pretty good for an RPG maker game. This should be this should be the goal, really. Two thousand dollars would be great. I 100% uh, agree. I think I've seen people with like $500 or stuff for their you know, RPG Maker game. Which uh, is comical to me, but whatever. Yeah. It's like uh, just save some money, but I get it. it t times are tough, so I won't judge too harsh. Yeah. But, you know, it's the difference between like getting some more polish or paying for this or that. That's uh, fair. No, but it's more so I'm just like, if, if it's that, if it's if this is the dream game, just, and it's like you're asking like 200 bucks, just... Just save two hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, well, two hundred. Like, yeah, two hundred is a little too low. Five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah, I, I guess. Okay. I know maybe, some people who make the games are pretty, you know, they could be kids and stuff. Yeah, maybe a thousand dollars should probably be the minimum. But you have two thousand, which I think is pretty good. Just remember, Kickstarter also takes a cut, so you got to uh, yeah. two thousand. So five hundred bucks requested is you don't want to get like three eight three. Oh, but, look at this. But yeah, I was gonna say La Maya. La May. Uh Yes, I agree. Two thousand is actually quite good. I had a, I have a friend who uh, was just really his party was just all wrong, and he really had like a bad business sense. And he he wanted to start a Kickstarter game, and it was just this like garbage mobile runner game, like click runner game. And he asked for like fifty thousand, and all of his backer rewards were just 
more in-game currency and i told him it was really really a bad kickstarter and he was like you don't know what you're talking about jabroni tony i've been reading <laughs> business books and i'm like all right dude and shockingly i think he got like 110 dollars or something so out of, out of his fifty thousand dollar goal so if you if he watches this i don't think he will but he did whatever i i i didn't salt to his face about it not not to be mean but just be like it's what a ridiculous kickstarter attempt so this Kickstarter, the Dream Games, honestly, yeah, two thousand. I agree, is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, the goal is ten thousand, which means if you don't get it, you don't get it. Yeah. Uh, maybe relaunched as a two thousand dollar, but uh, ten thousand, ten thousand is yeah, is a lot for an RPG maker game. I will say the game, I am a decent amount of effort into it, so I won't say that ten thousand is unrealistic and it won't go anywhere. But at the same time, uh, such a small scope project. Yeah. I think 2000 is much more realistic. Yeah, and he says it's his first game as well, so uh, I, oh, think that's, yeah. I think that's I think that's a pretty big success. I would call this a success at this point. Um, Absolutely. The game is functional. There's things that are kind of fun. And I think, you know, hitting one-fifth of your goal here, uh, maybe just cut the scope by, you know, <laughs> to one-fifth, and then maybe the price of the, the planned price to one-fifth, you know. Because there's a one- or two-dollar game that's kind of short. Maybe it's a couple hours long. I could see this being like pretty decent at that. Yeah. Um, For sure. Uh, I'm just, I'm looking at the the uh, kick starter whatever pledges. That's the word. Oh yeah, what, what do you get for the pledges? Yeah, let's see. Copy uh, of game wallpaper soundtrack. Yada yada yada. Oh, twenty dollars. Well, I guess that's maybe chain. not the price of the game, but this made a delivery October, twenty twenty six. Another two years of development. It's like oh yeah, like over two years, Dave. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if you need that long. I think, but yeah, if, if point, you did what, if you did what I said of cutting it down to one fifth, then yeah, you could be done by the end of this year or something, you know. Yeah. Um, Ten thousand dollars, and then two and a half years away, or two and like three months. What is that? It's almost two and a half years away. Yeah. What is it? Where are we? We're in June. Say so, yeah. So it's like two and one thirty year away. That's so. And then ten thousand. I mean, at that point, you could almost just work. I mean, maybe just work a regular time job and just, you know, and then just work on this in your free time and finish it in two and a half hour, two and a half years. I don't know. That's that's a tough one. Yeah. But yeah, a hundred dollars to become a play tester. Uh, is this? I guess I don't look at Kickstarter at all. Is this a common thing that <laughs> I'm like paying? I'm my plan is to like pay people to be play testers, not. For them to pay me to become playtesters, you know, this is well. Okay, there's a bit of it because some people will go, "Oh, I want to be part of the development process." Oh, so this is their way of doing it. Well, I'll pay my way into like get my name in the credits and maybe join some playtesting or some like puzzle puzzle feedback. Yeah, thingy. You know, I mean, is the so, promise that these playtesters have a larger voice in the choices made? That's the thing. I don't know. It doesn't really say that. Get, just, just get involved with the development by playtesting. Eh, like. Yeah, this, I think, yeah, that's the difference, I think, is asking, having someone play in so they can be part of the playtest is definitely a pretty normal thing, but then they have to get something. Yeah, they, they're, like, in the Discord channel, access to the Discord channel, right? That's, like, with a direct line to the developers and... They get like the name and the oh, it's, there's a lot of stuff to it, right? It's not just like, hey, pay, I'll pay me to give me labor, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and they, maybe they're planning, maybe the dev was planning something like that, but it's not listed here, so we can only assume. Yeah. Nobody, nobody went for it, so. Did somebody go? Oh, yeah, somebody went for some couple of people went for this. Wow. Ships to only United States, but you're it's digital. What? Design an NPC. Yeah, see, these are the things you get a little bit of. 400, yeah. It's, okay, I was going to say, where did the 2,000, how does it break down? So that, <laughs> the two people that brought Prime is almost half of the whole thing. Yeah. It's 800 of the 2,000. That's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, man, we still have a pretty good amount of time, but I don't oh, yeah, know. Yeah, we could, we could definitely screw around and kill time, but we but can. yeah, I, I did want to give a, I will say, giving the Kickstarter a good look over is fun, though. I, yeah. I do like looking at Kickstarter, so. Yeah, it's fun to talk about. I think it's pretty cool they got $2,000. That seems like a pretty good success to me. I know maybe maybe they feel like they've 
they're going to come up short, but I think two thousand dollars is pretty good. Well, the problem is they're not getting the two thousand at all. It's an all or nothing. If they don't oh. get ten thousand, they get nothing. Oh, so really? It's not good. <laughs> is that how so? They're going to have to. Re- what happens to I that think money? It just goes back to the. It, it, it doesn't pull the money until the 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 event is considered success or failure. Oh. They just pledge the money, they attach their bank account, but it won't hold the money until the event ends. Oh, wow. Whoops. So, yeah, it says all or nothing. <laughs> this project will only be funded if it reaches its goal by Thursday, June 6th. Oh, so, shit. Yeah, so this ain't happening unless some, someone from our our audience decides day of, which is when this is going to be, be released. Yeah. Oh, wow. It says it says 3 a.m. Oh, on yeah. June so, 6th, no. So, but if we if we got a if we somehow had a, an a fan member that gave this game eight thousand dollars, that would be shocked. <laughs> but anyway, I know we don't have to go. But but I do like to kind of like because well, you know me, I have a history with Kickstarter and its kind of failures, and it's it's not it's not the 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 website's failure. It's people go in with just really bad ideas on running a Kickstarter. Or they they poorly run it, or they you know don't do it right. So this one is, yeah. Unfortunately, they're not going to see the two thousand at all. So the, I don't know if they can re rerun it with a two thousand goal to get the money, or if they even want that. Maybe not. Maybe the dev is going to say eh, it's ten thousand or nothing. But um, ten thousand is a, is especially in a game that looks like this. No, if, yeah. I mean, we know as an RPG, it's good for an RPG maker game, but that's you know. That's like saying, oh, this food doesn't taste like poo. Yeah. It's like, yeah, but it still doesn't taste good. You know, that's not, it's kind of an insult. But you know what I mean? It's, it's, people outside the RPG Maker community are going to see this and probably not think much of it, to be completely honest. Um, even though for an RPG Maker game, it has a good amount of effort put into it, but it's, it doesn't have enough eye catching. You know, my friends who ran the Kickstarter that got, that had got 15k for their ten thousand dollar goal. Their game was like this super fancy. The, the project went on, you know, is is and other issues for other reasons. But their game was super eye catching, like 3D graphics, Unreal Engine, like all this cool stuff. And that game only got 15k. So this game using 2D graphics for better or for worse is just, you know, people don't. <laughs> It really has to catch like oh Undertale, you know, or Paper Mario, and especially a first time dev, dev, dev with no uh, brand name to them. Yeah, ten thousand hard so. I was just so, thinking of think so, about it, Dev, if you, yeah. when you hear this conversation. I was thinking of stretch goals. One of the stretch goals should be to upgrade to a newer engine of RPG Maker. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, asking a lot. Yeah, well, he'd have to remake the entire game, basically. Yeah. So, is it a he by the way do we know oh whoops sorry i don't know uh <laughs> okay i've been saying they because the main character is a female oh my be. uh yeah well i guess we'll stick with they because i don't know I... <laughs> yeah well you can let us know dev later Unable anyway to determine. we'll wrap this the kickstarter thing up but just you know I've, i have a lot of experience with seeing failed kickstarter project just think about it dev once you watch this video think about how you want to if you want to even stick with it but just be aware they take a cat cut and and ten thousand is a lot for a first game, and yeah, yeah, it's just it's you know RPG Maker Two is is a relatively niche community to be completely honest. So yeah, that is true. I feel like as much as you know, there's the RPG Maker stigma. It feels like everybody knows like Ugh, RPG Maker. Ugh. I feel like when I released the game on Steam, most people had no idea it was RPG Maker, and like the game was like ninety nine percent RTP, like. It yeah. was blaringly obvious that it was RPG Maker, but most people don't know, like, because most people don't even know what RPG Maker is. <laughs> so, as much as, as much as you hear about RPG Maker, it's really just I don't know. It's it's an echo chamber, I guess, is what you're hearing it from. <laughs> yes, it's it's a vocal minority. <laughs> yeah, quote unquote. It's yeah, echo chamber, as you said. It's easy to hear about what you want to hear about if you go seek <laughs> the forums that talk about it, and you kind of forget <laughs> how. Uh, you know, I was, I was talking with my friend about this uh, this this Pokemon card that apparently was worth a ton, and this guy sent it in to get it graded, and it got lost in the mail. <laughs> and then he posted about it, and it was a really it's a really famous card guy named like Leon Hart or something like that, and he has like two million subs or something. Really well known card guy, and 
my friend was telling me the story and i was like so what are you saying that the the and then okay so after lee and hart made the video then like the 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 card was found at the mail center you know like the day after and i'm like what are you implying that some male employee grabbed the card and and he's like yeah maybe and i'm like i mean it's possible but come on like how many people know the value of pokemon cards <laughs> and then he's like and then he's like well it's like leonhart's really famous i'm like i've never heard of him and i'm a, i'm around card games and video games all day long i've never <laughs> heard of this guy you know what i mean so is it possible the guy at the mail center stole it and knew leonhart and he, yeah maybe but we forget like i don't care if a youtube subscriber has two million he's still not a not that well known <laughs> like yeah. to be completely honest a two million sub youtuber is still not that well known to the world to be completely honest yeah i always think so. about how how big a difference it is between like uh how, how much scale has changed over time i guess because i mean back in the 90s sure a game that has like a hundred thousand sales might feel like everyone knows that game because like you know less people were gamers i guess yeah uh but but like nowadays you could have a game with 100,000 sales and like like literally no one will know who you are like you, that's like nothing that's true <laughs> yeah if you don't bring it to the mult into the nine what is it 10 figures no yeah. eight figures if you don't bring it to like the eight figures your game is like relatively niche yeah like i told yeah. you about omori and you were like what <laughs> what's omori what? it's like <laughs> sold like a million it. copies or something <laughs> yeah. and i'm a fucking gamer yeah so so that's not to disrespect anyone, because obviously you can have a five hundred thousand dollar copies and make mad bank and be super well loved and all that stuff. It's not an insult to anyone who's successful. I re absolutely respect all that. I'm just saying that people forget that just because you know something and all your friends know something doesn't mean everyone in the goddamn world knows what it is. Like that's all I'm saying. Anyone who ever who's trying to take this the wrong way, I'm not. I'm not insulting anyone who's successful. I'm just saying that people forget. Oh, me and all my friends know this card game collector it's like how many people in the world care about card game collectors like <laughs> not that many people so yeah so it just people forget so in this case yeah relatively as you said rpg maker we hear it we, we you know we're on the forums or, or you're on the forums whatever we, you tell me about stuff but honestly the majority of gamers when they just see an rpg they just maybe they they subconsciously can recognize it's something they've seen before but in their head they're just like oh it's just some jrpg game yeah. they don't in instantly go it's rpg maker you know yeah. Stuff like that. So. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we want to score some shit here. Let's do it. Let's move on to the score. All right. Uh, so you probably feel more strongly about the gameplay than I do. Um, it's Time Hits again, which I thought I remember reading that said action game, but it's not an action game. It's an RPG. I don't. I at least in my mind, a turn-based game with with time inputs does not become an action game. It's still. A hundred percent agree. Yeah, I would. That is a lie, developer. It is not an action game. And I'm a guy who loves timed hits. When I play a timed hit RPG, I call it a timed hit RPG. See, I'm not crazy it is, here, am I? An action uh, game is Mega Man X. Yeah, action RPG, it says. Okay. It also says 3D, which I I, I don't know if I would want to throw that out there. Uh, it's like with quotes, air I, quotes. I could see using, I mean, if this was like 1992, you could say 3D, and people would be like, whoa! But like, um, at this day and age, I don't know, probably say 2.5D or something, because, like... Wow. I'd agree with that. Like, it's not a 3D game, like, in any aspect of it. Um, yeah, the camera angle's stuck in one direction, and your sprites are all 2D. I'd say 2.5D is fair. And then, uh, yeah, action RPG is, is like, secret of mana. Yeah. It's not, it's not Mario, Paper Mario. Yeah. Um, that, that's one thing I do want to mention, is this game, and Dev, I'm sure, will confirm with me, I'm not a big Paper Mario. I, I like Mario RPG. I don't like Paper Mario that much, but my god, this game, not in a bad way, but like this game is obviously very, very heavily influenced by Paper Mario. Almost everything <laughs> in the game from World Map actions to her pot slam animation, it's identical to, to Mario's hammer slam. The leg kicks up and everything. She has a jump attack, which is Mario can do. You get one partner who has a world action that you have to switch around. It's like, this game is definitely paper mario <laughs> <laughs> so i'm just gonna say that dev you can confirm with me and i'm sure you're gonna say yes because if it's not this is the one of the biggest quinces on the goddamn planet if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right so yeah. gameplay uh gameplay yeah i might go three again just because it's it's not the default two 
but uh, I don't know. Timed inputs don't do much for me. You don't uh, like them as much, yeah. Yeah. I maybe, will admit, maybe even I like them a lot, but they're not enough to make a game for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, like so, I could, I could see this combat being interesting. I mean, I guess I didn't get any fights with those other two guys. I don't know if their abilities change the combat significantly, but like so far, it just seems like your teammates in combat they just hit guys. So, yeah. Hmm. I would say. Well, there was also the overworld map. Oh, that's yeah, that's true. Cool. Yeah, I'd I... say 3.5 because the overworld map. I'll okay. give it a little more. I guess that's fair. I, I guess this is kind of like such an early demo that we do have kind of like that leap of faith mentality going on. Because yeah. I could see that would be interesting for me. Like if I get to hit a lot of trees, do the just cause thing of just hitting everything, breaking everything. I want to see more of that. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know, autistic like that or something. I just want to... <laughs> Push, break all the interactable objects that are in the map that I can. Uh, Got a swing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, thirty-one points right because that the over map. Yeah, we're we're giving a little bit of leap of faith. We said, but but you know, it's cool. It, it does add even if even if it it is, doesn't progress past much what it is. The world map still has some interactivity. Too, yeah, so. there's like a platforming thing that was kind of cool. Yeah, I I think that taking I think I was taking like one hit point every time I failed. I think that was pretty fair. And it all kind of played into the attrition system pretty well. Um, I just, how do you save? Like, I assume there's no save because it's a demo, maybe, but like, there needs to be some kind of saving mechanic. I agree. <laughs> so yeah, if there's no save, I'm I, that becomes a zero for me. But <laughs> but like, eventually, if there's a save, then okay, sure. Yeah. I don't want to have to play through the entire game <laughs> in one sitting. Yeah, in one sitting. I hope hope things don't mess up at all. Yeah, even if the game's only, like, two hours long. Uh, yeah, no. All right, narrative. Uh, well, there wasn't a narrative, so I guess... I mean, I guess yeah. there's theming, which is kind of cool, so maybe I kind of want to give it a little more than a two. Uh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> there was know. a little bit... The, there was a frog who joked about, hey, you're not... You thought you... Oh, yeah, me. that was and pretty funny. And then there funny. was a little bit of conversations here and there. There's a little bit of world stuff there, so... Uh, I'll do a. F I'm down with the. A three point five or four. Really? Wow. I'm gonna go three point five. Four sounds way too generous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I'm looking at the other games with fours, and I'm like, it's probably not up there. So that's three point five as well. Yeah. Uh, audio. Um. Oh yeah. I guess music is part of it. I I noticed on his uh, his damn it on their uh, Kickstarter Kickstarter that said that they are a musician. Oh, wait, yes. didn't it say their name? It oh, James. James. Oh, it's a, okay, it is a dude. Actually, we're good. We can say hey. We can or say he. 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 <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. Because I, when I Googled it, it said Dream Game by James. And I'm like, I just, I read that before I told you. Are you sure? It's like, I just totally forgot I read that <laughs> part. So this whole time, I'm like, oh, yeah, this guy's, it's a dude. Bamboo. Unless it's a girl named James. Yeah. Okay, Jamie. well, we're going to assume it's a dude. Yeah. All right, uh, so James. So music, uh, some of the music was good. The main, the main menu music needs a few more bars. It's like a fucking four second loop. Um, bars. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the music was kind of cool. I guess all the music is pretty short, but like, if you're only in each area for a short amount of time, um, and each area has its own little tune, then that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, other the actual sounds that happen in the game, uh, I think we're. Mostly RTP. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I, I was thinking it were. I honestly didn't super get the audio because I, I tried to turn it up a little bit and then I couldn't hear you that well, so I turned it back down a little bit. So oh. now, yeah. I, this is Discord volume, so it shouldn't affect the recording. But no, yeah, I, I, the levels look good to me. I was actually thinking that I had the audio too high, but in the past, every time I over tune it down, it becomes way too quiet, and I do want people to be able to hear the audio of the game. Yeah, um, I don't want to just, you know, destroy it and then have only us, only us, listen to what we say, nothing else. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I do want people to hear the game. Yeah, I mean they should. So um, I probably could have adjusted it better here, but I was like, eh, I'll, I'll figure. <laughs> I honestly can't say for sure if I remember that, but I remember the game, the battle music was okay. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. And then uh, our, I hate RTP sounds. So yeah, they're pretty bad. Um, I might give it a. I think I might give it a 
think a four, like it would be a five, but like minus points for RTP, <laughs> I guess. I'm fine with that. I was going to say like 3.5 or 4. We're giving too many 3.5, so let's go to four. <laughs> All right, yeah. Because, yeah, custom music's nice. Yes. Um, visuals. Uh, it did kind of have kind of a visual flair to it. it was I, I did like it. I just, the battle, the and hopefully it's placeholder, the battle uh, oh. background was really ugly. <laughs> Which was just like a kaleidoscope spiral thingy. Yeah, it's really, really bad. No depth of perception or anything. Yeah. Man, those so battle I, I do are hope that gets fixed. a real problem. That's something I've yeah, been thinking about. Yeah, they're in a lot of games, right? That's something I've been thinking about. Like, what should I do? Because, you know, I have these people complaining about AI, and I'm like, I honestly don't know what to do once, because I'm using AI for the battle backs. I'm like, I honestly don't know what to do when I have to replace this. What am I going to do? I might have mm -hmm. to research again doing the, uh, you know, just blurring the screen and just using yeah. whatever's there, which I don't know. feels iffy. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess, well, what do you have right now? You, ha you have some backgrounds right now. Yeah, they're AI generated. Oh, so I So I have to replace them. Uh, I could do... So what some people have been doing, I've noticed, is they, like, make a level in, uh, you know, the editor or something. I guess I yeah. could try that. Maybe I'll s try to figure out, like, a way to do a 2.5 thing with D thing with the assets I have. That would be interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, we're we're doing the sidetrack thing. I don't mind it personally, but we definitely want to keep <laughs> we want to keep the scoring a little bit quicker. So let's yeah, let's get back yeah. to it. Well, it's also obnoxious because I'm talking about my game instead of <laughs> this person's well, game. My game, my game, ha ha. Uh, so, but I will say the actual character art, the 3D 2.5 being used relatively well. Uh, I was pretty happy with it. To be completely, completely honest. Yeah, it all worked pretty well together. So uh, I will say. 4.5. 4.5, wow. Uh, yeah, a pretty good score. Yeah, I guess I'll go with that. Man, that seems kind of high, but like, sure, why not? Yeah. Good uh, amount of effort put in. Yeah, because there's animations and stuff, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, mapping. Mapping was pretty basic. Uh, the rooms are pretty small, which I assume was, again, because 3D mod and it's VXA, so I assume the engine's even worse. So probably just smart. Uh, avoiding uh, performance issues that are probably caused by a 3D mod. Because I've heard of that, where it's like if your map's too big, it very easily like <laughs> overloads and starts chugging. Because um, RPG Maker is a uh, very old... Even even the newer ones, like MV. I was just watching a video of, of Nolan talking about how MV is... I believe it's a 32-bit program instead of 64-bit, so it only uses a limited amount of memory. And he's, I think he said it's a, what's the phrase, like single thread, like it only uses one of your processor cores instead of all of them. Uh, yeah, lots, lots of problems, <laughs> lots of problems <laughs> with the RPG Maker engine in terms of performance. Um, so yeah, uh, so he's probably pretty smart. He identified like, okay, my frames are dipping, so I'll keep the room small, which is good. So yeah. I guess we give him credit for that. But otherwise, it's like nothing venture, nothing gained, right? Uh, so oh, yeah, mapping, yeah. Maps. Yeah, the mapping's pretty basic. We only saw one that was kind of interesting. We didn't, I didn't walk around enough in that little town that I unlocked. So it seemed yes. like it was, might be opening up and getting more interesting. So uh, I think that was... I'm uh, willing to give Star Wars a little bit conservative, maybe with a three. Three? Oh. Because it's definitely better than average. But this is not just a bunch of endless corridors and stuff. But at yeah. the same time, it was so little was in in that I can't really give it much higher either. Uh, yeah. I mean, I might lean towards three point five just because I think that town was kind of nice looking. I'm fine with three point five. I just we, we man, we're just giving so many three. All three point fives. Woo! <laughs> That's uh, fun. Technical. Technical. Um, so I was a little impressed with the technical. It had the see-through part. Yeah, technical. Had, there was some, some stuff. decent stuff. Uh, I did it's find VX that Ace. it's VX Ace, so I guess you. <laughs> this is where that point comes in. Um, I did have the animation bug that I found, but you know that's kind of bug hunting stuff. I don't know if that's that yeah. bad. It doesn't really affect gameplay. Um, there was that one where I ran into the guy and it was playing the bonk sound. I mean, it was playing the bonk sound when I hit him anyway. I don't know what that was about, but like. I could like hold the button and it played it super fast, which I don't know if that's just a VX Ace thing. Um, but other than that, everything kind of ran pretty smoothly. Everything worked. 
Um, cause yeah, I guess what I'm getting as the only bugs I found were kind of like bug hunting type bugs where I'm like yeah. being a jerk and like trying to tear things apart. Um, but otherwise it worked. Uh, so I guess, what does that make it a five, but it loses a point for being VX ace. Uh, man. So a four you're thinking? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm fine with the four. I, I think not, not not much ventured, but yeah, it. I yeah. Heard it flow for VSA, so it's fine. Value. Value. So we don't know what the price of this is, uh, other than the Kickstarter thing saying uh, twenty dollars for. But that might just be because it's like, I don't know, like you, like maybe it's doubled for I don't know what the average how Kickstarter usually works when it comes to the tier that gives you the game. Like, is it usually the price of the game or is it more than the price of the game? I think it's usually more, right? It'll be more, but they usually give you something with it. Oh. You know, it'd be like your name in the credits and oh, the copy of the oops. game, right? Because, yeah, then why would anyone buy right? Outside of wanting to support. So here I only see it says you get wallpapers and copy of the game. And wallpapers are nothing. So my thought process is this game is expected to be $20 and if it's Damn. not then whatever we have to just make the assumption so I, i'm fine making the assumption they can correct us james can correct us later like whatever. yeah twenty dollars feels a little steep to me um, i agree uh yeah oh boy uh so that's definitely not a five in value for me <laughs> for Ooh, boy. uh i'd probably say that's like i don't know a two or something like i mean i guess 2.5 2.5 all right if you say so if I'll think it's too, so, but I'm like, it's a little bit. I mean, what price did you suggest? I was probably going to say, like, I think it should be a short $5 game. Like, uh, yeah, I thought I'm fine with five. Because I don't think that this game could be interesting for that long. Like, if it's like a, you know, like a five hour game or four hour game or something, I think that would be fine for $5. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be a pretty good target to hit. Um, I don't think this could be a 70 hour game. <laughs> That would be obnoxious. Yeah, that would be a little too much. All right, so score, huh? Um, we, I mean, it's better than a lot of the RPG Maker stuff that we played, so that's cool. So feel good about that, James. Yes. Uh, but it was also so short. Yeah, it's just so the short. Alpha, so we only can guess so much. Yeah, we don't have a lot of info about like where things are going or how the game is going to evolve and stuff. So, I guess you could kind of take that with a lot of these scores. Like, we don't have a lot to like score off of. So if our scores are kind of low, then well, we didn't really get to see enough to give a higher score of like, oh, here's how the game becomes cool. Like, there's certain oh, ideas right. like switching the dudes out. That was kind of cool. Um, to do little puzzles of uh, the map. But other than that, that's like, ugh, just do the time I, I, to it. Yeah, <laughs> I felt, I, exactly. I felt this, I feel the same way as you're saying, exactly what you're saying. It's like, I, we don't know enough, so we have to just guess with what little we know and what little was presented. So I'm going with a D++. Oh, wow. I was, I, I don't feel there's enough for me to justify whether it's worth a C at all right now. Yeah, that's the problem. That's where I'm at. I'm like, I want to be nice and give him a C, but like, I, plus, I guess the other problem is for me, maybe I'm going to be the same grade because I, I just don't care about timed inputs. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, if if I had the feelings that I have now, but was as interested in timed inputs as you, I might be give him a, give him a C minus or something. But yeah, uh, for me, I'm just kind of like, whatever timed yeah, inputs. Yeah, I feel. Even with as much as I like time inputs, I'm like, there's just so little right now. There's, it's hard, like, as much as I love timed inputs, would I play a game like this for 30 Oops. hours? And the answer is hell no. <laughs> so, I'm like, if I can't say that I don't want to play it for a long period of time, then I can't give it a C, so. Oops. Now, it's possible, it you know, as you said, it, it might open up and... There's gonna be cool stuff, and there's more things to do. Yeah, maybe, but we don't know that yet. So, so our guess is just if this is gonna be third, you know, ten hours of timed hit attack, and then walking around and like doing stuff 
with your partner character doing an action. I just like eh, it's it's cool gimmicky. It works. It's Paper Mario ish, but I wouldn't enjoy that game for very long. I'd enjoy it at the start, but I definitely wouldn't keep my. I'd get eventually bored of it for sure. Like the whole demo, oh, whole game. I'm just like, oh yeah, I might as well add that to some of these other ones. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So uh, let's see. Yeah. Final. Oh, you're gonna you wanna go? You gonna do? No, maybe, no. I mean, you can. No, I, mean, I don't need to do that right now. <laughs> okay. All right. No, it's we'll say uh, Paper Mario clone. Oh yeah. Two point five D turn based RPG exclamation mark. And then I want to almost make a joke of saying no more lies, like gr like the graffiti you put like in the in in counterculture rebellion movies when they when they. <laughs> spray paint like no more lies <laughs> but, but this is me just talking about the page where they, they called it the 3d action rpg and it's obviously not a 3d action rpg i know yeah. my voice went a little weird there but it is a 2.5d turn-based rpg with timed hits sir yes so let us yeah. not get this twisted i guess i didn't mention that uh because i mentioned i keep forgetting because he keep mentioning the paper mario thing i guess that's another thing that kind of hampers my scores like a game that's just like a clone of like a big game and then done in RPG Maker. It's just like, hey, here's a worse <laughs> version of a game that already exists. Like, eh, it's not yeah, for not, sure. not a great look. Uh, definitely, I don't know. I, maybe, maybe you can offer something about what needs to be kind of like if anything is different because I don't really know. But like, you know, when you're doing that, it's okay. Like, we all have our influences, but. You always need to have something that's like remarkably different about it, and it can't just be the setting, you know. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. I will say, like I said, I'm not super familiar with Paper Mario, to be completely honest. So there could be someone who's like, well, actually, and pushes our glasses up. This this is quite different, but from what little I know of Paper Mario, this is like identical a lot of ways to Paper Mario. Uh, I, I let's just say of what little I know of Paper Mario, this game has done almost everything. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is in you know Paper Mario has more on top of that that I don't know, but of what I know of Paper Mario was also done in this game. So yeah, you could, as, you could add yeah. a just cause mechanic where you could just smash everything with your pan. Oh my god! <laughs> now it's different. Now it's two games, and that's because that makes it acceptable to be two different games mashed together. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's how you you make original quote stuff, right? Quote unquote, is you just mash up more stuff. <laughs> Make it a little... It's still derivative, but it's derivative of 20 things instead of two things. Yeah. Yeah, that's... uh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to think about it, but... Hey, James, we're honest. We gave you... Uh, it was I, but definitely not not really much here, so... Yep. Uh, uh, it is what it is. But it's promising, and it's the first game, so... You know, uh, definitely... A lot more promise than some of the other games. I honestly get a feeling when I play some of these some of these RPG Maker games that like, you know, this person should not be designing games. <laughs> but uh, you know, for a first game and for you know, because you you also did the music and stuff, you got something. You got things you done you can do that you'll get better at and stuff. So there's promise. Um, but yeah, some of these are some RPG Maker games I play. I'm just like, oh my god, like why? <laughs> yeah. Uh, for sure and yeah obviously it's definitely a lot i always kind of give the advice when it comes to rpg maker or just amateur devs that like you know sometimes you just figure out what you're good at and it certainly seems like you're good at certain things so if you do yeah. that then that means you can work on uh someone else's game you don't have to be the project manager right like someone could make a game you could be like oh i'll do the music or i'll do you know this part of the programming or whatever yeah and then then you have a game that's more powerful because instead of having one person who has to do everything who's only good at a couple things, you have a few people and each person is good at a thing, right? Like, yeah, that's how a game gets really good. Uh, that is true, man. <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't know. I'll see. Curious, James. Good luck on figuring out an alternative to the Kickstarter. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. but yeah, I mean, maybe maybe try yeah. it again, but set the total 2k or something i don't know yeah because uh, i would be pretty happy with 2k but uh, i don't know 10k seems like way too high yeah for a first game for sure so yep 
Uh, all right. I think yeah. that's all. Yeah, I think that's yeah. everything. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. See ya. Yeah.